What's good, Twitch and YouTube? This is Duke the Porcupine, and today we're continuing our Let's Play of Stardew Valley. Still hoping to do the community center, but I looked more into it, and it is going to be nearly impossible. So let's see if we can do it. It actually has to be uh, major luck on my part. I have to be able to buy a red cabbage from the... Uh, traveling merchant. That's currently my only hope of getting this this done in time. So that will make it very difficult. And I also need to get a lot of a lot of money going because uh, yeah, I need like. Ooh, uh, 50k, I think it was. Let me check real quick. I got it written down. I need 43,000 for a deluxe barn. We are nowhere close to that. So we are going to... Drop this stuff over here for now. We need a spice berry. I remember we needed a spice berry. I'm just going to drop some stuff off for now. Oh, we got water the plants. Oh gosh, I almost forgot. That would have been disaster. Kind of want to plant more melons just to um, hope for the best on that aspect. Mikey, why are you slowing down chat? You don't need to slow down chat. <laughs> it's a don't abuse your power. <laughs> oh, and you get a cool little icon now. Do you see that? You got a little, like, sword next to your name. Do you like your newfound power? Oh, how long do melons take? Oh, so it's too late to do more of those anyway. So. Off to the ocean we go. Oh, you took it. Okay, you didn't use. Uh, <laughs> are you just learning the controls of being a good moderator? Maybe not quite all the power. Just remember I can still override you. <laughs> But I'd prefer not to. But yeah, now you get this cool little icon next to your name. Oh, come, oh, come on, little fish. Um, so the new apartment is... Me and Becky still love it. Um... Yeah, I have already lost, like, five pounds since I'm not eating mom's cooking anymore. It might sound bad, but I needed to lose that five pounds, so... <laughs> yeah, I've been, uh... Yeah, I'm not even exercising really more. I'm just eating way better and less. So, already lost five pounds. So hopefully that continues, and I'm hoping... Lost track of time today. I was going to do uh, some more ex extra exercise, but uh, uh, I lost track of time. And I wanted to keep starting the stream at 7, so if I started to stream later, I could have uh, gone to the gym, but I forgot. Maybe I'll go after. We'll see. I want to go on walks and explore the area, but I don't know if you've heard that just air quality is terrible. Tell me about your soul. What do you want to know about it? Well, I wasn't. So Are you talking about the class or my capstone project? All the details of which one? <laughs> You're not being specific. The class project? Uh, which one? We had a couple projects in that class.
Wait, why are you even curious about it? Are they making you do solar panel stuff? For the rockets? Oh, the big one where Joe did a lot of MATLAB. I know exactly what you're talking about. So the, uh, the problem at hand was um, Dr. Taub <laughs> wanted to um, switch from his conventional water heater was going bad. So he wanted to know how, how expensive it would be to install his own water heater in his house, a solar uh, heater in his house based off of a um, house he has in Florida versus a house in uh, Bremerton. So, he wanted like a full, oh, what's, what's going to be the cost, the savings, how big does the array have to be, all of that good jazz. And uh, yeah, we figured out, based on our calculations, which I don't think is exactly right, um, if you wanted actual market solar panel arrays that are meant for solar hot water heating you'd have to get the same um, well based off what we found is pretty much the same size it's like five feet less but they come in two sets of like 20 square feet or 25 square feet so so yeah and it was like it was supposedly cheaper than uh, supposedly cheaper than just getting a normal basic water heater but uh, we took a lot of considerations out of the typical equation, like maintenance. We didn't really do much for maintenance costs and all that stuff, so... I think in Florida it's probably better to have a solar hot water heater, but uh, in Bremerton, definitely better just to have your standard... At least money-wise, better just to have your standard water heater. And then I actually, in my, my capstone project, I actually looked at how relevant solar panels are in Washington. And the answer is not very relevant. Uh, oh, the data that we use? Uh, so we had to look up... Oh, sorry, Miley's dreaming and it freaked me out just then. Miley, it's okay. I got a dog freaking out and a crazy fish on the line. Oh no. Stupid fish. Give me just a second. It's taking way too much concentration. Oh my god, that's exactly what I needed. Um. So, let's see. First question. What data did you use? Um, what is it? Enril has really good data. So uh, they talk about like solar concentration. So the the pretty much the power of the sun in that area. So then um, we use that data, and then we had to. Oh, gosh, these fish are coming in left and right. So we used that. That was pretty much the only data we had to use. Then we had to know the um, what is it? The latitude of the houses and based off of that you're able to pretty much do all the other calculations because a lot of the other stuff is just design like you just choose the design like you could assume the angle of the roof you could assume uh, if you didn't want to assume an angle of the roof you could like assume a mounting bracket I'm just gonna let this guy go he's a little too much you could uh, like uh, assume that you made a mounting bracket that gave you the ideal angle um, and then, pretty much what it, it said was, what it calculated was how much energy it pretty much produces, or how much it needs to heat up the water. Uh, you have to assume that it's not a perfect water. You have to assume it's a uh, glycol mix. So you have to assume it's like water glycol. It's like, I think, 40% glycol. Something like that. And then... Um, so that tells you how much energy the solar panels actually produce to heat up the water. And then 
it's just some like thermodynamic slash heat trans mostly heat transfer to be honest type of problem then you have to like a 300 liter tank that you needed to heat up needed to heat up the water so you knew okay I need to get this water to this temperature so I need to make sure I produce this much energy so it's a lot of like you figure out how much like this concentration average concentration on the t uh, we chose the worst day so the solar the solar array will work on uh, every single day of the year no matter what so you don't have to worry about um, oh it works great in the summer but doesn't work in the winter so that accounts for all of that stuff and we figured out you'd need like a uh, was, I wanna say it's like a 46 I think it was like you needed 48 square feet of uh, collection area for the, the solar panels for the Bremerton location you needed like 42 or 44 square feet for um, Florida but the um, array we were looking at was um, two pieces that are 25 feet square each so we were just like uh, using this it works in both areas is that what you wanted to know or do you need to know more and then pretty much my my capstone project um, and if you're wondering about like just solar panels on a roof or something like that you can go to NREL and they have a whole super nice calculator for you and it's makes life super easy you can figure out like say you have a um, 3 kilowatt array you can figure out how much that array should actually be producing typically per month and like how much savings it's actually saving you and things like that so uh, yeah they got a that's actually where you get the data from is the NREL it's the like nat uh, national renewable energy energy laboratories or something like that it's got a lot of good data Yeah, I find it really cool. Maybe Boeing will will go to try to like power their airplanes with solar energy, and I'll work on that section. That would be pretty freaking dope in my mind. I don't see it being feasible anytime soon because solar panels are still pretty bulky. It's way too heavy. It's just way better just to use fuel. Way more efficient still. That would be dope if they could get it to work, but I don't see that working anytime soon. Oh yeah, definitely definitely not enough sun in Arizona for solar panel. Definitely not. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, so far the issue with solar panels is they're still pretty bulky. They're coming down in price a ton, but they're still just super bulky, so it's... Um, not feasible to just attach them to cars or attach them to planes or anything yet. Uh, there's a lot of research trying to shrink them down. They're getting a lot more efficient, so maybe in 20 years, maybe the technology will be there, but... But then you also got to account for you're not on sea level. You're, you're potentially above the clouds for a lot of that, so... Um, that'll give you a higher concentration and then that way you don't it, it gives you a much better concentration when you're that close it's only 108 right now 
Do how can people live in that, Michael? I don't understand. Oh, and then the other thing too is most of the time solar panels work better not in hotter climates but in cooler climates. So if you could keep it like right around uh, 45 degrees and strong sunlight, that is like where solar panels perform the best. So even though they, they do work pretty well in those hot climates, it's it's mostly just the sunlight they need. So. That would make me think if they're um, putting them on engines and that's, that's uh, you're going to have some high efficiency when they're up in the, actually up in the air. to not be on my screen. What is going on here? So yeah, um... Hey man, maybe you get some years years in there, then you can transfer the project that you want. You should have took solar with me, man. Maybe that would have helped. Um, let's see. I have a list of things I need to do to complete the community center. Let's see. Summer, summer, summer. I need spice berry, so we're gonna leave a spice berry, but the other two can go. Actually, do I have that in the other one? No, I don't. Do I need a sweet pea? I do need a sweet pea. Yeah, that would honestly be so cool. I would be totally down to work at Boeing for a few years and then uh, move over there and work on designing solar panels for rocket engines. That sounds so dope. Oh, uh, Spiceberry. We need a grape still. Crap. We have time to go check? Yes, we do. Well, no, you don't build the panels. It's, uh... No one really builds their own panels. You just get the panels and you design being able to pretty much attach them, I would think. And then you have to also figure out, like, the angle is very, very important. Oh, dude, Michael, that'd be so dope. Wait, no, stay at my... Oh, actually, we have an extra couch. Sarah has an extra room, but it has computers in it. I have an extra couch. But I think Sarah's location... No, no offense to myself, but Sarah's location is a little more centralized, probably what you want. My location's a little further out of the way. Or we could just put Michael right in the middle of me and Becky and Miley, because Miley likes to come up on the bed now. She likes to be a naughty dog. But she is so adorable when you burrito her. Oh my goodness. You guys can't even comprehend the cuteness. Time is at 10 o'clock. We can swing up here real quick. How much 
does that give? Probably not enough. Yeah, pretty much just FYI, I think we all work like nine to fives or around there, Monday through Monday through Friday. And so uh I don't know what day of the week New Year's is this year, but Wait, Courtney's on the 405? I thought she was in Seattle. You know, I'm pretty sure Sarah's closer then, because you have to go up and around or across. Yeah, but you have the toll. You have to pay. What are you talking about? The 520? Cause you have to pay for that. It's not free to go across the 520. Then you can go. You can go I-90, but that's quite a way south. And if it's during a work day, good luck. Wait, how far into Seattle? Like, how far south in Seattle is she? You better see all of us. I'm going to have some jealousy issues if you don't see all your friends, especially me. I don't know why I don't just turn all this bug meat into bait. Right next to it. What is AI? Alabama? I think you're in the wrong state, bro. Is that AI? AL? Being an old man right now. Got an achievement? Nice! Oh, I made 50k. Neutral? That's not too bad for us. Blueberries are done. One of our better money crops. Oh, Art Institute. Derp. Also, Sarah, you're a chicken. You are a literal chicken. But don't worry, you're not alone. My brother Joe is here with you. He's a baby. You're at least full grown. You're the only one pulling in money right now. Joe's just milking it. Taking all the moolah. Do I need... Oh, crap. Let's see. I need, I need a grape still. Got a puffer fish. Need a sunflower, which I don't think I'm growing right now. Fiddlehead fern. That'd be in the secret woods. I need a poppy, which I think I'm growing. I hope I'm growing. I need ten wheat. I really gotta do better, you know, coordinating all this crap. I think we're gonna cut some trees down today, because... We need 1,200 wood. We gotta go for the barn first, just because, uh... We need... We need truffles. Pigs give truffles, but they don't give truffles in winter. Oh, that's hardwood. Damn it. Where's the Art Institute? I don't actually know where the Art Institute is at. Let's 
assuming near the middle. Or, oh wait, oh I think I know where there. It's um, I can picture the road. It's pretty much almost in the heart of Seattle, isn't it? I think that's where I was thinking, next to Pike. Yeah. That sounds about right. Or maybe I'm just lying to myself. That's also very possible. Robin better be open today. I think we need wood and stone. Actually, can I... Oh. Nope. Can't do that yet. Yeah, and honestly, once you're in Seattle, it's like, as long as you're in the heart of Seattle, you might as well just walk everywhere, right? Um, did I put my spice berry in here? Did put a spice berry in there, cool. Oh, crap, I forgot to turn that into mayonnaise. Oh, no. The inefficiencies. I can't afford... The other thing I need to do... Is I need to go... Ooh. That's good. It's free money. I need to go check out the wandering merchant person. Because that's the only way I can complete... A community center. I realized that as I was going through the list of things that I needed off stream, I realized I needed red cabbage, which I could only get year two. Fun fact. Actually, that's all I needed for the uh, foraging. Nice, Robin's here. Construct farm. I need 350 wood. Oh gosh, how much do I got? I need just like one tree. Come on. I hope this is the only one I need. Beautiful. Okay, it's only 6,000 wood. Oh my god, I got a... Is there anywhere I can put it? Do I really have to clear that off for you? Oh my gosh, Robin. You're gonna drive me crazy. It'd be nice to have a silo, but I think that's just gonna be... Unless they're super cheap, because then I'll just save money buying hay every day. Oh, mean. I gotta remember where the scythe is at. I wish I would still just put the uh, hay in your inventory, that'd be nice. Let's just be safe. Clear a little extra of this out. some reason, Dylan, we are not seeing your comments actually in chat, but I'm seeing them as like separate messages. I'm not really sure why, uh, but yeah, that, that's how it's working for whatever reason right now. Hopefully we can make your experience a little more enjoyable than work. Are you at work watching, or... <laughs> <laughs> That's the real question. Is my 
fishing skill at? He oh dang. Nearing the max of that. Um Let's go put some stuff in the community center. No, my buddy Dylan's also watching. And he said he said it's much better than work, so I'm wondering if he's at work and watching while at work. I assumed you were at home, Mike, because I don't think you'd watch while at work. I don't think. That's probably kinda risky, especially since you're still fairly new to the new to the job. Yeah, whatever. Accept that quest. Hold up. Is there any fish I need to catch in rain during summer? So we're gonna go to piers, grab the ten wheat that we need, and we'll plant those soon. And we'll plant a sunflower seed or sunflower. Probably have sunflower seeds, but whatever. Need you. I actually need that still, so. Need one of those. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to buy more corn because I don't. Oh my god, was I selling my corn? I think I need five quality corn, don't I? Oh no. Yeah, oh. Oh, nice, you're getting another raise. Dope. Big bala. Shot cala. I'm just hoping to get a start date soon, man. They're just dragging their feet with me. I really like to add some stress to my life. Oh, I already had sunflower seeds, dang it. I already had the wheat. <laughs> Oops. Should probably pay attention a little more, huh? Um, do we need the... I'll be at Boeing. So that'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe. I hope. I'll be, um, working on the 737. So that'll be hopefully exciting, I hope. We'll find out. I hate my job. Whatever. It's a good paying job for now. Just a temporary thing. I mean, I hope it's not a temporary thing, but, well, you never know. Just assuming I need all of these. Let's go drop stuff off at the community center and then we will sell a bunch of stuff off. I grab sweet feet. Yep, cool. So Sarah, do you think you're going to try to get into the division that's working on those rockets with solar panels, or no? You're just going to build up some experience first and then move on, move to the other divisions maybe. Because that would be pretty freaking dope, I'm not going to lie. Put a jello in there, damn it. Oh, there we go. Dope. Oh, I got a keg. That's hella good. I need that desperately. Get out of the way, little dude. Those off. Pretty sure I have a cave carrot back home. 
not fall foraging. There we go, that one's done. Huh, I wonder if I, hmm. Those are a little late. Uh, do I keep, I should just probably sell those. So what else am I going to use them for? I think we're all good here. So Mike, you thinking of uh, sticking with Cusco for a while or do you have grandiose ideas or just sticking it out and see where it takes you for now? I know Costco's got some good benefits, but do they, um... Oh, you're most excited for the Rainier. Or, if you're really fancy, the Ranier. Or if you're pretending to be fancy, at least. some beer actually because I think I think this makes pale ale that's actually really good for us save one of everything for now set mayonnaise yeah we might as well sell those I don't know how much they sell for probably not nearly in worth just selling, but no, they're not. But we need we need money, and we need it now. Oh, like, are you thinking about just um, seeing like how far you can go with Costco, or do you have other plans or anything else, or? Wow, sixteen hundred, nice. Do you still like what you do at Costco? I guess that's probably one of the big questions. Or if you don't, is there a position within Costco that you see that you want to do?